In today's funny story, we bring an epic story like it's never been told before. You might have heard many funny stories about Little Red Riding Hood, but this one has never been told before. As Farmer Jack will be the first to tell this funny story, we want you to sit back and enjoy the ride or enjoy the walk for that matter. So, Little Red Riding Hood was walking through the forest with her little basket. She was very happy and was singing as far as she went. However, as she went deeper and deeper into the forest, the forest became darker, and she started to hear funny noises. She was clearly concerned for her safety, as she had been told before, about the big bad wolf lurking in the forest. However, she kept singing the same old song. She spotted a movement and could see that something was hiding behind a tree. She stopped and asked, Is that you, Mr. Big Bad Wolf, hiding behind that tree? The wolf came out of his hiding and with a sleeky look on his face said, Yes, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood, and where might you be heading? I bet you are on your way to your old granny, living all alone in the forest, aren't you? Now the Big Bad Wolf has been planning to go and eat old granny for some time, but was waiting for Little Red Riding Hood to visit granny. He could then have two meals for the effort of one. He, however, was very surprised to learn that Little Red Riding Hood was not on her way to Granny. So where are you going then? Asks the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood said, I am on my way to visit my cousin Mary, and she is not afraid of any big bad wolves. And where were you going? Asks Little Red Riding Hood. The big bad wolf, still very confused, as he knows these woods so well and had heard about cousin Mary, but had never visited her area before, lied and spoke. No little red riding hood, you will be safe going to your cousin, because I am going to visit the three little piggies. The wolf then left. As little red riding hood walks further through the forest, singing her same old song, the wolf followed her. He was thinking that if he can trap little red riding hood and her cousin Mary together, then he can still have two meals for the effort of one. Close to her cousin Mary's house, Little Red Riding Hood again hears something in the forest behind a tree, and again, she stops to ask. Is that you, Mr. Big Bad Wolf, hiding behind that tree? The wolf again appeared and spoke. Yes, it's me, Little Red Riding Hood. Seems like the three little piggies stay close to your cousin Mary. But I promise you, you will arrive safely at your cousin Mary, as I am going to visit the three little piggies. Little Red Riding Hood then continued the road to her cousin Mary, singing the same old song. Once she arrived at her cousin Mary's house, she was amazed by how beautiful the place was. The house was on a cliff, and the scenery was magic. They were still busy packing Little Red Riding Hood's basket out, when suddenly, the big bad wolf appeared. He was growling, and it was clear to the two of them that this wolf meant business. The wolf charged, and Little Red Riding Hood and her cousin Mary ran the only way they could. The big bad wolf now had them cornered and they were standing on the edge of the cliff. They had no way to go. Now, said the big bad wolf, you can jump over the cliff and fall yourself to death and I will eat you or you can come into the house with me and I will still eat you. The big bad wolf was now very brave. Unfortunately, he forgot some minor details. The next moment, the big bad wolf got a heavy thump in his back and he flew over the cliff. On his way down to his death, he was thinking, what on dear earth have just happened? Then it struck him. The same old song that Little Red Riding Hood was singing while walking through the forest was the answer. He started crying as he sang the song. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.